and if organizations are, are sort of starting out on this journey um what what would you recommend or, or suggest for them I think something that's really easy to do is a content audit and a proper spring clean of your website um I think our websites get full of what is useful stuff at the time and then gradually becomes less and less useful. That's that's the way the internet works. Um, that blog post that you wrote two years ago, probably out of date now, that press release or that news item or, you know, the kind of sales copy around that project or event that you did five years ago just isn't relevant anymore. The nice thing about a content audit is there's lots of free online tools that can do this for you. Um, you can pop your URL in there and it will produce a spreadsheet, which is a list of all the pages on your site. And often you can go through and have a quick look at that and see which ones are vital, which ones are necessary. And you might be surprised because there'll be ones on there that you didn't even know were still on there. Um, often our clients have done this and they've found pages that they have no means of getting to from the front end. There's literally not a link anywhere on the website to this mystery page, but it exists um, and hasn't been touched for three years. It's just been sat there floating around the internet. <laughs> um, and that is a really quick way to say, okay, we've got a load of content here, which we're just not using. So just delete it. Um, the the thing that you should really consider, and it's really tempting not to delete it because you you think, oh, we might need this one day, is just think that that content probably is somewhere else. Someone's emailed you that information. Somebody's popped that information on a shared drive. People are writing draft blog posts on a shared drive somewhere, and then it gets copied into the website. Chances are that information is stored somewhere else. So you're duplicating the energy needed to keep that information somewhere. So I think that's one thing that would really help. Um, and the nice thing about that is that it then leads to a lighter, leaner website, which actually just gets rid of all that clutter. The way I picture it, if, you, if you've got a really, really cluttered house and somebody says, where's the tape measure? You're just not going to find it. Whereas if you've got, if you get rid of all that clutter and things have their place, it's going to be much quicker for you to find the tape measure. And it's a bit like that on a website. If you can get rid of all the clutter and all the noise, people will have a more pleasurable time navigating your website. Um, the other thing that you can do is just think about the use of images. So images on websites are very heavy, images and video, they take up a lot of um, space on servers. Um, and one thing one of our clients did a few years ago was just, they'd been really smart, they had a lovely filing system for all their assets on the website that kept it nice and neat. And that just meant that at one day they could just say, we're going to delete all the images from blog posts from three years ago. So they didn't delete the content. They just deleted the images from the server. Um, and that's really smart. That that just saves lo so much space, all of that, you know, space and energy somewhere there's energy being used to power that server and cool it down so that it can store those images on blog posts for three years ago. So just get rid of them. Um, and I think that's one of the best things that you can do. Um, another thing that's really useful is just start to benchmark a couple of your key pages. So Website Carbon is a brilliant website where you can run your web page through that and it will tell you how much carbon is emitted per page view. Um, you can also um, actually check the weight of the page itself through Chrome, through Inspect. Won't go through all the details of that, but People can get in touch if they want a little <laughs> tutorial on how to do that. It's quite straightforward once you know how to do it. Um, and that tells you how much data is being transferred every time somebody goes to that page. So again, you can you can have a look at some of your most visited pages, how much data is being transferred, and just say, well, these are my five most visited pages. This is how much data is being transferred. One by one, I'm going to go through and see if I can streamline it. Can I get rid of some content? Can I make it more succinct? Can I make it clearer? Can I add in headings? Give it a bit of a refresh and re-measure those pages. You'll probably find that you've reduced that kind of a weight a little bit, therefore reducing the carbon footprint. 